Just before this video starts, I have to apologise for how much I had to edit down the Face It Alone section. I've gone through like nine edits now, and every edit has flagged the song as blocked in some countries. So I've had to remove some sections, which is really annoying because I didn't want to have to do it. But hopefully it's not that noticeable. It's fine now, so fingers crossed there's no issues with it in the future. Hello, Merry Christmas, and welcome to part two. Obviously, if you haven't watched part one, then go watch that. But without further ado, let's just get straight back into it with... We've actually got a leaked rough version of this song before, which appeared on a work in progress preview cassette for Capitol Records. But that version is very heavily edited and is very poor quality due to it obviously being on cassette. That mix includes the same vocal take as this version, but with a more finalised instrumental. And both versions have very similar vocal takes to the album version. This version does lack Freddie's final verse from the final version. There is an alternate guitar solo from Brian in this version, which is nice to see, but I do prefer the more complete solo of the final version. One positive worth mentioning though is that I do prefer the drums, and just instrumental in general of this version though, it just feels way more fuller and harsh than the more like thinner production of the final version. And the intro is very similar to the 12-inch version of the song, rather than the album version's like fade-in intro. All around, probably the least interesting of the disc so far, but it is nice hearing an alternate version of a Queen classic. This is probably the weakest track on the Miracle album for me, so I wanted to see if this version redeemed the song in my eyes, and not really. This is once again another track that's leaked in the past as a demo of My Baby Does Me, but again, not in the best quality. There is some differences between these two versions though, with some different vocal takes being used here and there. And the song structure of this version is more reflective of the final track. There is some great ad-libbing from Freddie that is missing from the final version and the leak as well. One more thing worth mentioning about this leak is that it segues into a version of I Guess We're Falling Out, which I've always thought was a bit weird. This is an improvement from the album version, but it is still in my top 10 least favourite Queen songs. This is probably one of my favourites on the Miracle album for how emotional and grand it feels, and this version doesn't feel any different. This version is lacking the intro and outro of the final version. And instead includes some great studio chat out. Let's take this one, yeah? No, 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 I don't start it, you start that first. This version is missing the absolutely mad breakdown from the album version though, which I found unfortunate. I would have liked to see a more rougher version of that part or something like that. It's just an epic conclusion, but it doesn't feel as epic on this disc as it's not the conclusion, and we still have five tracks left. Let's see what's next. 
I mean, this track is just beautiful. This is the first of two tracks which us Queen fans have not heard anything from before this release. Locked up in the vault under the supervision of Gregory Brooks for all these years. This feels very much like a Brian solo track that could fit perfectly onto Back to the Light. An album that he made around four years after the recording of this song. It just feels very intimate, an acoustic recording with very tender lyrics, very similar to the Beatles' Blackbird. Brian has shown a love of the band before, so it is nice seeing a studio recording reminiscent to the likes of Paul McCartney. So using AI, I've actually created a version of this song with McCartney on vocals. Please do stay And it sounds terrible. This is definitely a favourite on the disc for me though. It's definitely the most complete as well. So much that I even gave it a like on Spotify. You stabbed your knife right in my back. Look, like I kind of mentioned for My Baby Does Me, there has been a leaked version of this track, which is almost identical to this version for the first half, apart from the intro. You stabbed your knife right in my back. You stabbed your knife right in my back. And then after the chorus, there's some more complete vocals from Freddy using this version, then the way more ad-libbed verse in the leak. And into the second chorus, the group vocals are used way more in this version. A very interesting thing to point out in this new mix is that there's a very familiar vocal by Freddy at the end. And where the leak includes a fade out intro, this version continues into a little jam, which is once again very familiar and reveals to us fans that this track may have actually turned into Hang On In There Down The Line. I've actually looked into this a bit more after recording this and it seems like the miracle was intended to be a medley album like Queen 2 or Sheer Heart Attack with the tracks segueing into each other as evident in the, in the two-part opening party in Khashoggi's ship. But this concept was ultimately scrapped so I think that I guess We're Falling Out was intended to segue into Hang on in there, or maybe an interlude that would eventually turn into Hang on in there. Overall, I think this track has some great potential and includes some very interesting parts to pick out on. I really love this track. I'm pretty sure it's the one and only duet between Freddie and Roger. This actually premiered at a fan club convention all the way back in 1988 before being leaked onto the internet years later. This track has a really great Brian solo. Like really catchy chorus. And some really great and funny messages from the band at the end. Sorry, it hasn't got me on it. Must have ruined it for all of you. But there you go. This version retains the solo and not much else, with it feeling very different and just shorter than the fan club version. It also feels less complete than the leap, with a lot of the guitar solos and choruses feeling less impactful. Like a dog with a bone, Roger's vocals are also way more in focus in this version as well, whereas Freddie's were louder in the mix than the fan club version. You say you want. I just feel like it ends a bit prematurely and awkwardly compared to Leak as well. It is a downgrade in my opinion and I feel like it loses a lot of its charm by removing the ad-libbing section by Freddie. I hope
and obviously the messages. But it is nice seeing a version of the song officially released and on streaming platforms. I only heard one thing the first time I heard this song. This is the second track which us Queen fans have not heard anything from before this release. And it's another track that I really love. Again, it definitely feels like a Brian solo track. A very melancholic and semi-epic demo with a really great Brian vocal performance. It does end prematurely and it does lack Brian's number one speciality, his guitar playing. But it is an extremely interesting track that I think should have been completed. Hello again, I was just editing the video, I realised when I was re-listening to Water, I noticed that the backing vocals in the second verse sounded very familiar, so I looked up a bunch of Brian demos and I found his cover of uh, Mary's The Name His Latest Flame, and the vocals sound almost identical. And here we are at the final track of the album, Face It Alone, which obviously got a single release before the release of this disc. I did a first time reaction to it on the channel and did think it was slightly disappointing considering the directions they could have took this track. And I wasn't that happy with the auto tuning of Freddie's vocals and just the artificial nature of a lot of it. There has been multiple leaks of this track before this release. We've had like three different fan club recordings, all showing like different takes and mixes of the song. And also leaked as a full five minute demo recording, which showcases some great guitar playing missing from the final version. It is quite low quality, but it's what we've got. Let's focus on the five minute session first, which includes two different vocal recordings from Freddie laid on top of each other. Which are turned into separate verses in this version. Also worth mentioning is that there is guitar playing throughout the leak, which is missing from this final version, and just makes it feel way more sparse and empty in my opinion. When something so near in terms of the fan club snippets, there's no difference I can really spot between the demo leak and those, apart from the first verse of the track being without laid vocals, which shows a step closer to what would become this final version. This final version does include a chorus that wasn't included in these demos, maybe meaning that this is like a Frankenstein's monster of stitched together vocal takes from Freddy, or maybe just a take of the song that we haven't heard. But overall, looking at the potential of these demos and what Queen have done with the demos in the past with Made in Heaven, I just would have liked a more epic, darker track, but I do respect the work put into making it at least sound like a complete track. And I think what we have is still a great showcase of the talent that was Freddie Mercury. Before ending this video, I want to talk about the tracks that have been leaked but have not appeared on this release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's unfortunate that this disc focused solely on the album tracks and not any demos or early versions of the bonus tracks. This is just the extended jam session from Hang On In There and I think it's really fun but we did see something very similar to this at the end of I guess we're falling out so I'm not complaining. This is a really interesting leap with some really fun overdubbing by Freddy. And even though it probably goes on for way too long, there are some great parts in this version that could have been salvaged or edited down for this disc. This isn't a very interesting demo of the song, but it does make for a good alternate version with some nice alternate vocals and some ad-libbing from Roger. And it shows really how pitched and sped up the released B-side version actually is.
This track obviously turned upon Made in Heaven, but it was originally intended for the Miracle before being removed for publishing and rights issues. So this would have been a nice addition to the release. It showcases some alternate Freddy vocals that show some really great emotion. Now I don't think the Miracle is Queen's best album or most unique, but it has a ton of demo material that is put to extremely good use on this new release, and I think it's possibly the best material Queen Productions Limited has put out for decades now probably. Please do more stuff like this please. Please.